goals and that talent. Esiosa de Salo will get a great reception here from the home crowd. He ran the third leg in that Olympic relay championship winning team. The 4 by 100 he goes in lane 8. Kenny Benarek with the trademark headband. Olympic silver medalist in Tokyo. One of the best bend runners in this event. And comes here fresh from that victory in Rabat at the weekend. Filippo Tortu led home Italy to that fantastic Olympic triumph in the sprint relay. Just pipping Mitchell Blake from Great Britain on the line. He's in six. Luxolo Adams former South African champion who was second in Rabat behind Benarek last weekend. Here is Mitchell Blake who thought he'd won the sprint relay for Great Britain. Picked on the line by Tortu only for Great Britain to be then disqualified subsequently. Lorenzo Pata was on lead off in that Olympic final. So we have three of the quartet here. Just Jacobs as we mentioned not here competing because of injury. Tamar Burnett goes in lane two for the Netherlands. World Indoor bronze in the relay. And Josh Hartman from Germany set a German sprint relay record with his teammates earlier this month. But Benarek in lane seven. The American is the man to beat. The man in form had a terrific 2021 changed his diet and his training operation feels much more relaxed there he is third from right there is uh, Benarek 1968 is lifetime best he's in seven Tortu just see him in picture there on his inside in six and Dasalu also from Italy on his right in lane eight Mitchell Blake in lane four so three of that Italian quartet here in Rome this evening. Men's 200 metres. Starts are not happy. So another short delay. Chance just to ask you, Steve, how impressed were you with Benarek in Rabat last weekend? Immensely. I mean, I... What he, I think I mentioned it in the commentary last week, you know, he's become one of the, if not the most consistent 200 meter runner. You know, I think he just gets overlooked. He's an Olympic silver medalist. I think he ran 11 times under 20 seconds last year, legal. It, you know, he just gives you that level of performance almost every single time, and, that, and that's an amazing thing to have. It may well be that there'll be one or two slightly super talented occasionally going to beat him, but he's going to be there, thereabouts. The pole vault, incidentally, is right up against this 200 meter start, and there's been a couple of attempts while they were waiting, and maybe that that was the distraction. So, slight delay, green card shown, so technical fault, nobody penalised here. So, the line are getting full, and so Germany in nine on the outside, De Salo in eight, Benaric there with the headband goes in seven, Tortu, the Italian, one of three Italians in the race in six, Adams, South Africa in five, Mitchell Blake. From Great Britain goes in four, Pata Italy in three, Burnett Netherlands in two, and on the inside, left of pitcher Hartman from Germany in lane one. Non Diamond League event, it's the men's 200 metres. This time we're away clearly, keep an eye on third from left and Benarek already into his running nicely. Mitchell Blake going also quite nicely in lane four, but Benarek with that brilliant prowess on the bend coming into the home straight in the lead. And the, the fight for second place is behind him. It's Adams at the moment who's getting second place, but Benarek is a class apart. Let's keep an eye on the time. 20 seconds dead, just outside the meeting record, held by Michael Norman back in 2019. But Benarek once again underlining his consistency the consistency that steve was talking about just rounded up to 2001 a slight headwind but goodness me steve he runs that bend so well and then takes the momentum into the home straight adams as he did last weekend coming home in second Tortu, the best of the italians in third but once again it's kenny benarek with that headband coming through in a season's best 2001
Yeah, well, you know, as you said, um, as you were, you know, <laughs> 20 seconds there, thereabouts. It would have been nice for him to have got under 20. It's a pretty cool evening now. I think he'd be really pleased. Uh, Tor 2 run uh, very well in the home straight, came through well. But Memorek is, you know, <laughs> At that stage of his career where he can just turn up and come out here, it's not a Diamond League event, as you as you rightly pointed out. And the field, he'll have tougher fields to run against throughout the season. American Championships coming up to uh, at the very least. So he knows where he's at, and he knows he can probably step up from this reasonably straightforwardly. He wants to get down to the 19.7s, maybe the 19.6s, his personal best. And uh, just a nice, solid run from him here. That still is good enough to lift him well ahead of everybody else tonight. Adams came through nicely, as I said, season's best for Tortu. Uh, season's best as well for Mitchell Blake in fifth. Good bend from him, just uh, lacked a little bit in the home straight, but he can keep working on that. Still a bit of time for all of these athletes, but national championships coming up in two weeks this weekend, and uh, so important for many. You mentioned relays, we had the three Italian really members here with two of the German team that recently brought the German 4x1 record as well. Confirmation then, Benarek once again winning here and Mitchell Blake yet again as he was in Tokyo being tipped by, hit by Totu.